Thanks for joining. In this video, I want to share a layout trick for showing the details of an image. Welcome to Productive Computing. I'm Paul Fisher. So you have probably been on an e-commerce site or, or any kind of website that has a feature where you're looking at a smaller picture and if you move around on that small picture elsewhere, is that picture zoomed in so that you can see the detail. I thought it would be fun to make this functionality natively in FileMaker. So I can have these images in a list view in a small container window, and then when I click on it, I get a popover that's actually showing me a web viewer that gives me the ability to zoom around. So I go into layout mode. All I have is a container and a popover button. And I made the popover button just slightly smaller so I can click into the field to put images in. Then I have my popover, and that is filled completely with a web viewer. And in that web viewer, I am simply creating HTML. So then I encode the image field into base64, and I put it into an image tag. And because that image is larger than my web viewer, it's giving me this scrolling effect. And I'm on a trackpad, so by just using two fingers, I can go wherever I want. But probably the first question is, how do I get rid of this margin? So I'll deal with that real quick. So if we go into layout mode and we click on our web viewer, we go in here. In order to take out the margin, I need to put in a body tag. And I'm gonna do it inline CSS style by declaring all the margins to zero. And then I need to close out that body tag. That is the absolute bare minimum to make this work. Now when I view it, now I don't have a margin. It was the t-shirt thing that gave me the idea, but I also, I like to work in panoramas. And in FileMaker, unless you deal with it specifically, you always end up with these extreme thumbnails. So this would give you the ability to pan. And I could modify the CSS to make this fill this whole thing. But yeah, that's just a fun idea. Hopefully you guys have some fun with that. So it's a little bit different interface, but the results are similar. And if you use it or come up with a creative or different way to apply it, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, liking this video is a great way to tell us that you'd like to see more videos like this. Remember, you can subscribe to get updates and see you next time. Thanks.